Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with an application review on Opera Mini. Um, now this just came out last night, and I've spent a lot of last night and a lot of today testing it. Um, I actually did some pretty thorough tests to test it in different places, different networks, um, lots and lots of different websites, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to give you guys a full review on it. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire it up. So, as soon as you load it, it's pretty simple. Um, it just takes just a second to load. Um, and then you're greeted with this really nice uh, home screen. Um, it's very similar to Opera on the computer, whereas you have different uh, customizable panels. So basically, um, let's say I want to do this one. So let's hold on for a second. And then we can either clear or edit. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit. So now, we just come up here, enter address exit out then we put whatever we want so let's say we want opera.com seems like a pretty cool deal so let's go ahead and punch it in here opera.com hit done and if we give it just a second you see the little pinwheel start spinning and give it just a second and it will go ahead and grab the website what uh, basically a thumbnail of the website add it down there it should take just a second when you first do it and then as soon as the thumbnail is rendered like that then all you gotta do is just click on it and then it will kind of gray everything out, which looks pretty cool, and go ahead and load the page. So while it's loading the page, I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain to you guys a little bit about what Opera is all about. Um, so as you can see here, it's actually pretty, pretty fast. Um, sometimes it can take a little bit to start to load, but once it loads, I mean, it's very, very fast. So you know what? We can go ahead and, you know, scroll around here. And it's really pretty smooth. Especially you can see the zooming in, zooming out is really nice. Um, now, the pinch to zoom, it's there. Um, technically, it's multi touch, but it's not perfect. Let me show you what I mean. So, let's go ahead and actually let's go over this iPhone. You want to zoom in on it. It's pretty much basically the same as tap to zoom. You can't do anything in the middle. Um, that's not a deal breaker, definitely not. Um, I think really it comes down to you know ta double tapping to zoom when it's that fast, isn't that pretty much makes up for it? I got back. Um, but yeah. So uh, let me just tell you a little bit about it. Um, hang on, let me just go ahead and I'll explain this tab page in just one second. Um, so there we go. So how, the way Opera Mini works uh, is that it does not, it's not like Safari, where it goes ahead and, you know, just like a normal browser, like say on your computer, you know, downloads the, all the files of the website and puts it together on your device. Instead, Opera Mini uh, works a little differently. It actually has um, a bunch of servers somewhere else. Um, so like like when I hit that uh, Opera website for example, it went the Opera those servers went to the Opera website, uh, loaded it all, uh, crunched it into a, a really compressed file, and then sent it to uh, my iPod, and then my iPod with the Opera Mini um, undid it. It's kind of complicated, but in reality, it's very simple. Um, it what really really helps it obviously helped page loading a lot. But what really helps is when you're on a slower connection, whether it's a really slow Wi-Fi connection, or if, especially if you're on like an edge connection. And this is especially helpful if you have an iPod to, I mean, I'm sorry, an iPhone to original, um, which obviously doesn't even have 3G. Um, now with this, I mean, you know, I'm sure you know if you have one of those, or if you have any kind of iPhone that's on edge, it takes forever to load. Um, but with this, it's, it's still not going to be 100% speedy, but it's pretty fast. But enough of this talking, guys. Let's go ahead and just show you a little bit about it. So let's load a couple of sites. Let's open up uh, Engadget. Uh, now, I, this is the mobile site, but as you can see here, boom, loaded. Very, very fast. Um, we can go ahead and uh, click on it. And again, super, super speedy. I'm really liking it a lot. Um, one thing I really like is the back button. It is instant. Um, so let's go ahead. And again, I'll explain these tabs and everything in just a second. Um, so let's go ahead and go to a bit of a bigger website. Let's go to uh, 95 Mac. Um, now this is going to be a full uh, desktop site, and so let's go ahead and give it just a second. And boom, it's pretty much done. We'll go ahead and give it just a second longer. But as you can see here, very very speedy. I mean, I won't compare it to uh, uh, Safari in this video, but believe me, guys, it's way faster. And of course, we can double tap. Um, and one kind of nice feature is that. 
see here, it won't really let me move left and right. So like if I'm scrolling down, you know, you can't get a perfect line until you really pull it. I, don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. And of course, down here, um, we have the back button, which turns when you're zoomed in. It will unzoom you, I guess. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so that's basically the browser itself. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of the uh, cool features about it. Um, so you have the address bar, simple, just like you'd think. And then you also have uh, your Google search bar, which is good. But the cool thing is, if you click the little arrow, you can pick not only to search Google, but Amazon, eBay, and Wikipedia, as well as you can manage search engines. Um, so you can actually delete these if you don't want one. For example, I probably would never use Amazon or eBay. I'll, I like Wikipedia a lot, but so you can do that really, really nice and easy. Um, that works great. Now while we're on this page, let's go ahead and show you um, something you probably have seen before. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's go ahead and hold over it, and you can open a new tab. Open a new tab. And I'm gonna go ahead and select text. So you see here, I'm gonna pull it across. Let's see here if I can grab it right. Can't see with my finger too well, but uh, just okay. So you can copy it, you can search it, or you can search with. And if you hit search with, it's going to go ahead and pull up all those. So let's go ahead and just hit it. And I say we're going to search display port. Oops, I accidentally got too much. Um, this is display port. So then all you got to do is hit search. And it will pull up a Google search telling you about display port. Very, very, very neat feature. Um, of course, the self explanatory refresh button. Um, the tabs. Go ahead and explain this to you. Um, it's pretty much as you'd seen tab to browsing. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Um, we want. Uh, let's just say in gadget. So we have that loading. Let's go ahead and open up another one. Um, let's open up PC World. And you see here, I have all these tabs. I can freely change between them. So then I can go ahead and scroll through here. Let's say, well, I'm waiting because sometimes, I mean, it's not like it takes a long time to load or anything. But you know, of course, you, sometimes you don't want to wait a long time, or well, 10 seconds, I guess, <laughs> if that's a long time to you. Um, and of course, you can just freely scroll between them. See, I'm going to go ahead and get that one loading. Come over here. And really, guys, what I'm impressed of is the performance is really not affected whatsoever. I mean, just because your iPhone or iPod doesn't actually happen to really crunch all this data, basically it's just downloading basically a file, um, it's very, very quick and easy. So let's go ahead and kill a couple of these. So kill it. Um, one thing, one small nitpick while I'm thinking about it, um, is that to kill it, you see have to click it once and click it twice. Um, it's not like a glitch, but I don't really agree with that. I think it'd be better if they would just let you click it, but no big deal. So anyway, uh, moving on, let's go ahead and take show you guys options. Um, you have bookmarks, self-explanatory. You have history, which is really nice, you know, you like to see the history. Um, you can do the start page and saved pages, which saved pages is, uh, is kind of similar to kind of like a mix between start pages and uh, bookmarks. Pretty cool. Um, settings, I'll show you guys that in a second. But one really cool feature is find in page. So actually, let's go ahead and back out and let's open up another page. Let's open up, uh, let's go back to the end gadget and just show you some random. Um, let's say uh, Best Buy. That sounds like a good idea. So let's go ahead and hit find in page. Just hit Best. Actually, yeah, there we go. So it'll just go ahead and highlight Best Buy. Um, this is a fantastic feature. Um, should be in every browser, I think, really. And uh, it's good that they include it. So anyway, that's about all the options. You can go into settings. Um, if you really want to speed up, you can tell it to not load images. Not really sure why you'd want to do that, but hey. Um, you can t uh, choose the image quality. It's automatically set to high, and really, I would leave it at that. It's plenty fast as is. Um, you can adjust the font size, the mobile view, which doesn't really wor work. I haven't noticed a whole lot of difference. Usually either does the mobile view or the uh, full desktop, whether you click that or not, but it might help sometimes. You can do full screen browsing, which is great. As well as Opera Link, which will allow you to sync all your uh, all your history and bookmarks to your uh, Opera browser on your uh, computer. Um, I haven't tried this myself. I really don't use Opera, but I have heard a lot of people saying that this is this feature is not working right now. So you know we might be looking for an update or whatever. Um, and then privacy and advanced. I'll show you guys advanced real quick. It, quick, <laughs> it's nothing exciting. So let's go ahead and kill out of it. And I guess, guys, that is about it. Um, Opera Mini is a really, really great browser. Um, take it from me, um, it is faster than Safari, no doubt. Um, Safari has some, some things in it, like better, much, much better pinch to zoom. Um, but it's also a lot slower. 
Um, that said, I absolutely recommend go ch guys check this out. It is 100% free in the App Store. Um, it works on all devices, all iPods and iPhones. Um, but who I really, really recommend it to is if you have uh, an iPhone 2G, the one of the original ones, for over uh, because you're just stuck on edge. This is absolutely gonna, I mean, just speed it up like crazy. Um, and of course, I also, I mean, I think you pretty much anybody could use this, um, especially if you have an iPhone 3G, an iPod Touch second generation like this. It'll also be much faster. Now, if you have an uh, iPhone 3GS, maybe like an iPod Touch third generation, um, there might not be a huge speed difference. Opera Mini is still going to be faster, but not to a, such a huge degree. Um, so if you have one of those newer devices, you might not need Opera Mini that much. Still, I recommend it. It's a fantastic browser, and at the very least, check it out. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching.